wave power in the story of renewable energy sources is never seriously being considered. But is that about to change? Here on the Orkney Islands off Scotland, they believe they're on the cusp of a breakthrough. We've invented the Palamis wave energy converter, a system that takes the prodigious energy in ocean waves and converts it into clean, green, renewable electricity to power our economy. Richard Yem has spent the last 15 years researching wave power. There's a, there's a phenomenal uh, energy resource in waves. If we could capture 0.1% of the energy in the oceans, it could power the world 10 times over. So the resource is enormous. Palamis is, a, is actually a biological name for a whole series of uh, uh, species of surface swimming sea snake. And that's exactly how Palamis works. It's a, it's a snake, uh, articulated snake that floats on the surface of the ocean and the waves running down its length cause it to wriggle and articulate and we use that motion to capture energy from the wave and convert it into electricity. The Orkney Islands are the perfect place to locate Palamis. It's uh, at the receiving end of the North Atlantic, so it has some of the most aggressive wave conditions uh, on the planet. Moored up, undergoing maintenance, the Palamis machine looks like a floating leviathan, 180 metres long. And the rewards for those who push ahead with wave power, in Yem's eyes, they could be lucrative. We are as big a resource globally as wind energy. The world market for wave energy technology has been estimated to be in excess of a thousand billion pounds worth of equipment. It's, it's huge. A century ago, the big industry in Orkney was fishing. Now, with inventions like Palamis, they're trawling the sea for power. <laughs>